Alright guys, welcome back to Sin Survival, this is episode 8, and today I'm going to go through some, some of the things I've been doing around my my base, and um, and just a few general things. Uh, I also want to show, I've gone back to the nether over the last day or so, and I picked out another two more skeleton heads, the uh, wither skeleton heads, and that is great, so... I will uh, in an upcoming or soon soon to uh, soon to be done episode uh, fight the wither I think now that I have most of the materials I want to get um, some better armor maybe and I'll probably get uh, a better so actually the smite five sword is actually pretty good with the looting uh, the looting won't affect the nether star drop but it's still pretty good um, so yes I'm very happy about that I've got three of them so that's pretty exciting and, as you, <laughs> and one of my paintings show uh, how to make the wither the wither boss so that's pretty good uh, I've put in some glowstone in the top here because the ground here before was um, nice and was very dark I didn't really like that so I put in a, um, a glowstone block just to show that off there uh, but what I really want to go through today so today I'm going to plan to get through sort of my piston door so I've actually added in some pressure plates here and I've added a button on the other side uh, and it's on a timer so essentially when you press it it delays it for a about I think it's about two or three seconds and then same thing here you press the button you can walk through and then you do step on this as you come through but um, again it, all it does is just adds the extra two seconds to when you step on that which really isn't that bad um, I guess if you're being followed by mobs it could be bad but, um, but yeah, I'm gonna cut out here I'm gonna go back to my creative world where I made this um, piston door and I'll be back in a second I'll show you that alrighty guys Alright guys, now I am back. So this is the piston door. So as you can see, I've got sort of two sets of wiring here. Uh, this one isn't hooked up at the moment. So this was one of the original ones that I thought about doing, but this is a much simpler version, which I'll show you uh, later on. Alrighty, so here I have the three pist uh, sorry, the three pressure plates, and they sit over redstone dust. So essentially, oh, I'll jump up here. When I come down and stand on it, that lights them up and will open the door. Just the same as my in my other world. So essentially, stand on it. Opens it up. It has a bit of a delay more. It has a has a bit longer of a delay because it's got so much further to travel just to get to that area, just to make it easier to see. Now I'll go through this. So essentially, I have eight pistons like in my other world. So I've got three on the bottom. I've got two on the sides, and then three at the top. Um, and so what I do is I use uh, redstone uh, repeaters to attach to the piston blocks. Uh, I'll get rid of this so you can see it a bit easier. So I use I don't know what that was. Hopefully, there wasn't anything important. Uh, uh, so I've got these three attached to this. So when I turn, uh, I've got to turn that one off. When I get rid of it, it um, it they're no longer off, so they're no longer extended. And then when they are, they are extended. So then I come out to the side, and then I come straight up. So power into this block, which turns off this torch. The power in this. Uh, so this this block is now unpowered. So this one becomes powered. Uh, not so powered not powered and then comes up here and that becomes powered and then that block will affect the redstone here and it comes out and powers these and same on this side but I don't need to keep going all the way to the top because I only need one signal not that you can't do it like you can put um, oops let's try it again you can, you, can, you can put it on and it won't really affect um, sorry one second guys uh, it won't really affect how it runs because it's the same. It will essentially be the same signal if you've done it the same way. So I just drop this in. It might just be a bit lighter. Yeah, so it's a bit lighter. But apart from that, really, there is no difference between the two. So it just takes up more room essentially, uh, and it's not needed. All right. So now I've done that. Um, if I go, let's put this back in. Now I've shown you how that works. Uh, so essentially, sticky pistons hold the glass in place, uh, and then you got one hole here because when I get uh, when I get to the end and I kill the Ender Dragon, I will create a, an Ender an Enderman farm there, uh, most likely similar to the Etho one, to Etho's one. Um, but I may I may change that design later on, um, seeing how I see fit. And then essentially have a button here that does the exact same thing. So pretty much I'll go through that. So the wiring here, so. There's one input, pretty much the whole system, uh, and it's both are the same. So if I go here, you can see that that this redstone line just goes uh, and starts at that block right there. Uh, and while I was testing it, that's why there's a block there. Uh, and as you can see, the button does the same thing, except it follows that line there, uh, which is pretty much what I'll be using for the next um, 
the next parts. As you can see, I've got two projects here that I'm building. That one's a piston uh, elevator. I was trying to build one myself, but I've forgotten how to do it. And this is um, this is the design I want to have for the hall. As you can see, I'm playing around with a few things with the quartz blocks and the nether brick uh, slabs. Uh, I'm really actually excited about that. I really like that center pillar. I'm just trying to decide if I want to put that center pillar as all pillars or just as a center pillar. Um, but yes, I don't know if I, I, I'll tell you where it's, I'm planning to put it in, um, under my base. So this, this would be like the, the great hall essentially. And I've tested out that all blocks here with the two, um, the two glowstone blocks are, um, are above light level eight. So that's quite good. Um, and I, I do like that design, but I'm thinking about maybe changing it to redstone lamps. I tried putting them in the ceiling here, but because it's 10 blocks high, that actually doesn't light up that enough. It's like six or seven. But yeah, sorry, getting back to this. Um, so yes, yeah, so essentially, actually, so that block had nothing to do with it, <laughs> obviously. Um, so you've got one input here and you've got the other input here. It comes in and then I guess I can show you here. So it lights up, um, lights up this redstone and then the power comes straight down here and it extends to this piston here and that piston will go and attach to, um, sorry, that piston will allow the power to flow through, uh, which comes here, which turns this off, um, which allows the door to close. Sorry, the door to open. Go away. Go away. Um, so if we have, if you watch that, uh, watch that repeater there, you can see that that goes off and the doors open and then when it lights back up again, the door closes again because it, uh, when the piston, so when the redstone signal is not on, uh, the pistons won't, uh, piston arms won't be extended. Go away. Um, so yeah, so this is, so this is my first design. Uh, I found it, I can't remember where I found it, but I was using, it's a similar one to the one I use in the, um, in the skeleton farm for the crusher, but I just, I just didn't apply the concept right. And it's, it just, it's very bulky and it's very heavy, I guess, very bulky. And whereas this one's so much simpler, pretty much this here is to, um, to make the signal last just long enough. So when it comes through here, it'll start. So I'll show you, I'm sure there's better ways of doing this as well. It's just, this is the way I was, I thought about doing it and it worked for me quite well. Um, in my world, I actually haven't used this sort of setup. It just comes out of this, um, and essentially when it's red, it will, uh, it gets, it gets, um, flipped. So when it's powered, it gets flipped, uh, automatically. So I don't need to do that. So that's good. Um, yes. Yeah, so that's, that's how it works. So essentially it comes in, these are on four tick delays and this is on one tick delay. One tick. Yeah. No one, zero ticks delay. Um, I don't know if that's right, but yeah, sorry, this is on none, these are on four. So one, sorry, I think that's decided as. Um, and essentially, so that gives me four four delays worth of time. Um, and again, yeah, this is just to go power through there. And that's actually not you. So you, pretty much all you need is up to this point here. Um, I can actually get rid of this and I can show you what I've done. Okay, so I think that should be right. Again, exactly. See, I originally thought I needed it, but apparently I was being too smart for myself and I don't need it. So yes, I'll get rid of that. There we go. So it's a lot, a lot cleaner of a design. You don't even need the piston to do it. So there you go. As you can see, it's open, closed, slimes everywhere. Probably could turn up mob spawning, but what's the fun in that? So yeah, so exactly that works like that. Door opens, you can walk through, it closes, open it again and brilliant. Alrighty, so I'll call that here and then I'm going to head back to my world and I'll show you how I've implemented it there and then we'll go on from there. Alright guys, see you soon. Alright guys, now I'm back in my world. So I've changed the sign here, walk towards the door and it shall open, which is great. Um, I'll just get rid of these so we can go under here and have a look. So essentially I have that same wire here, except it's not coming out here, it's actually going out that way because I have more room on that side. So if we just jump up here, you should be able to see when I stand on it. Perfectly it opens and closes. Uh, and then we'll come through here and it's got a bit, bit of a trick. 
So this is what I have a problem because I have uh, I have my subway room right here, so I couldn't go any further that way. So I sort of had to do some tricky stuff with some redstone. But essentially, the redstone wire comes along here and then comes over this block. I've put two repeaters here, so that block these this wire wouldn't be powered by the redstone coming through here. Uh, and then over here, this is where the button comes from. So the button is this is a stair here and then the button's just on the opposite side of that and essentially the stair doesn't cut the redstone but it makes it look uh, filled from the outside so it comes down comes down so I have my power signal here uh, and then if I just do it like that you can hear the door opening and closing and essentially the same thing happens here so I've got these on four ticks and then that one isn't on four ticks I think I shortened it because it was, it was being open a bit long uh, and as you see I've got plenty of room here but I didn't need to use it uh, and this is the same sort of thing here. The reason I had to have this repeater in is because if I don't have it, then when the signal comes along here, um, it'll come back and start all over again, and it'll just stay lit completely. Uh, and that's not what you want uh, when it comes to it. So, yes, yeah, so that's how that works. Uh, and this is the inverted signal here, and that goes straight up here. And then also on the other side, this is where the signal comes out and goes to the other side of the door. So this signal here goes up all the way and then it goes, extends out that way. And I'll, um, I suppose I can show that. Um, just got to put a block down so I can jump on it. I have a feeling I have something above my head. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> all right. Um, let's see if I can figure this out. There we go. Life's tough sometimes. All right, so as I jump up here, as you see, so it comes up and it comes out here and then comes around and attaches to all of these. And essentially they do the exact same thing as the one I showed in the other world. Um, and yeah, it works It works fine for me. Uh, I'm sure there might be more compact designs, but at the moment this is this is probably the best way I can figure out to do it. And it's uh, I, I think it's quite compact. Um, you might, maybe the pulse extender might be there might be a more compact way, but I feel this is pretty simple and it's pretty easy to copy. Pretty much input here, output here, and then if you need to revert, uh, invert the signal, that's easy enough there. Alrighty guys, so that's how that works. I'll grab my blocks again so I can fill this back in, because otherwise I'm going to have a very <laughs> a very big jump to make every time I come through the door. Oop, and jump back up. And fairly easy to, to fix. And yes, so there we go. Check that one works again. Perfect. So yes, all right. So now I've done that. I've went through that, and the next thing I've been doing is I've been playing with uh, glowstone blocks because I want to put uh, glowstone or redstone lamps. Now I started putting them in in the ground, and I was thinking, yeah, that looks all right. Um, I actually I like the redstone lamps a lot better than I like the glowstone blocks. I left them in just to show the difference between them. It's just a bit darker, and um, I feel it fits in a bit better just with the whole stone brick theme. And I'm going to go talk about that in a minute. Um, I built that in the last few days. So, and the other, the other, the other area was t the other idea was to put in um, redstone lamps on top of the brick. Now, I'm I'm still torn in terms of what I like better. This is this just seems out of the way. I might need to put something like um, it was an enderman somewhere. Um, I was thinking about putting fences in. I didn't bring any with me, of course. Um, all right, you know what? I'll make it and I'll show you what I mean. Because I've been putting, I put some up before, and it looks it looks alright, um, but it's nothing spectacular. There we go. Uh, do, do, do. Maybe doing something like that to look like it was oops, look like it was held. Um, it's being held in place, but yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know if I like that either. I may need to put in um, nether brick fences. Maybe that might be what I want to do. But no, I, th I think this. I think this is. If I'm going to have it, I'm just, I might just have it on its own. There we go. Uh, oh, and the other thing that I got to uh, the other day. So yesterday, when I was, I'd got some levels. Is I got a new fortune on breaking picks. This is brand new. I made this pick, and then I got this enchant. I didn't have to combine any of the two. I will probably go back and combine some to show you how that was done. Uh, at a later stage. So I'm um, yeah at the moment. I'm still trying to decide probably the next video by the time I start the next video I will have chosen one uh, and I'll have done it and these redstone lamps or both of them There's a, uh, a redstone torch underneath them. Uh, I suppose I can show that as well So it's just down there um, And so essentially that all that does is just light that up 
and I might go back one day and uh, and wire this all up. So essentially, I'll have a, a central line of redstone that has a, that's attached to a daylight sensor somewhere, maybe in the middle of the town, and um, and when it gets sort of dark, it will uh, turn all the lights on, and then during the day when the sun's out. Um, or when it's raining like this, the lights will come on so nothing can spawn. So yes, that's how I've planned to do that. Now, um, the next plan I was going to do was, I was just going to show you that I, I was originally saving the last five rows here for melons, but I'm going to put the pumpkins in now so that, um, so essentially I can get more melons per thing until I find the, uh, the melon seeds that I want. So I can get pumpkins until I get, <laughs> until I get the melons that I want. Um, yes, so the mines down there. I'll show you the mine probably next episode, I think. Um, but yes, at the moment I'm going to go through a bit of brewing because I need to make some more potions. So I have the regen potions, I have swiftness. The main thing is the fire resistance potions that I need. So I have all the awkward potions here, but I'm going to start from, from basics, basics. So I have glass bottles. So glass bottles, um, you get three per three bits of glass. I probably should show you how to make them as well. So I'll just run over and grab some glass. It's always nice to have everything in your storage room. Uh, one, two, three. That's all we need for now. Alrighty. Well, I have, a, <laughs> I have uh, <laughs> my uh, crafting tables everywhere. So it's three and like that, and you get three glass bottles. Brilliant. And then, um, as I said before, I, I thought about having a cauldron, but it's just a lot easier just to have an infinite water spring here. I'll get six of them. I can put three bottles back. So essentially, I'll show you how to make a brewing station as well. So you need, you need one, um, one, was it a blaze rod? I was going to say a blast rod, but it's not right. So you put three cobblestone, which is how you make slabs, and then the blazer on top, so you get a brewing stand, and then you chuck, just put your brewing stand down there. Now, it's weird, the, the hitbox for actually the brewing stand is at the bottom, rather than this bit, you can't hit that, you'll actually reach through to grab the, um, to grab the chest which is a bit annoying but I guess you get used to it when you go through so we now have water bottles and if you put anything else apart from let's let's put some sugar in um, straight away to show you so it'll brew and this will take some time you can take this out and put it back in until that reaches the bottom it doesn't matter uh, it will still um, it'll still make it'll still work so what's gonna happen here is most potions require a base of um, a base of nether wart to, to form an awkward potion. This forms a mundane potion and pretty much the only thing you can create with this is a, a potion of harming or potion of weakness, sorry, a potion of weakness. And so to me those are actually pretty worthless so yeah we'll just get rid of them. <laughs> I don't really need them at the moment. So that's fine. So let's try with a bit of nether wart. Pull that too because I want to make some. So we'll try again with the water bottles and you put another wart in there. Excellent. Um, now I'm going to make some more because I didn't. I didn't actually plan to waste, not waste, but to use one for the the mundane potions. And we've got to fill them back up again. So one, two, three. Excellent. And then you can have multiple brewing stands going at one time, and that's fine. So there we go. We've got another wart to make these into the next one. So there we go. So now we've got our awkward potions, uh, and I want to make a fire resistance. So that's using magma cream. So we use that one for magma cream. Um, I'll show you how to make a magma cream with uh, with a slime ball as well and blast powder, blaze powder, blah, blast powder. What am I, I don't know why I'm saying that. So we've got slime ball, excellent. Uh, yeah, it is really helpful having uh, having a storage room like that because everything just laid out really easily for you. Now uh, you don't need a crafting bench to make it. So essentially, you break the blaze blaze rod into blaze powder. And you get two, and then, nope, I want to use a slime ball, and the slime ball goes in with that one, and there you go, you get your magma cream. Um, so yeah, it's it's quite useful. Uh, what I'll do is I'll chuck that in there, and I need one of these now. Actually, you know what, I'm going to use two. I should use just two. And I'm going to extend the length of the potion. Uh, with fire resistance, it doesn't really matter uh, that it's a stronger effect, because you can't really protect more than invincibility to flame damage <laughs> to fire damage so yes as you can see it brews I can take this out and put it back in I can take this one out and put it back in I can take this one out put it back in and they all still get um, they'll all still become fire potions and there you go the magic happens the magic happens so there we go fire resistance it's only three minutes and then you hit it with a bit of redstone and again it'll brew the same and yeah it, it will come to 
a uh, fire resistant permission with extended length of about eight minutes. So I'll do the same thing with this one and I'm going to run over and I'm going to get some gunpowder to show you uh, how to make splash potions. Now splash potions are really good uh, in the fact that they they let you do they let you use a potion instead of having to drink it you can um, you can throw it on the ground uh, and I'd like to get that before I fight the wither I'd love to find some melon so I can make some instant health potions because I have the regen potions which are great but just in case I get a few hits and I want to heal myself up really quickly um, so there we go with fire resistance so I'll chuck that in there and as you can see they'll make a splash fire resistance potion actually you know what I don't want to do that I want I want to keep them because I like to drink them so that way I don't waste them uh, well, not waste them, but I don't uh, miss, because you can miss when you're using that. So what I'll do is I'll take all these out, and you can shift-click um, potions out of a brewing sand, and the same with you can shift-click in uh, to potions. So what I'll do is I'll grab the potion of swiftness, and I'll put that in here. And actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab one of them, I'm going to put swiftness back, and I'm going to take a regen out, I'm going to put a regen in. So and you can po you can craft all different potions at the same time to make them splash. So I could have left a fire resistance in, I could have put a swiftness in, and I could have put a regen in, and I would still get all splash potions with it. So really that's not too bad. Oh, it's, it's pretty good. So there we go. Splash potions, they come in these little cool bottles. So that's the regen, that's the splash, that's the splash, and the splash reduces the time. I forgot to mention that. So that is something you sort of have to keep in mind because that was two minutes and this is one and a half. So this was a, a potion of regen with ex, with uh, redstone. You can make a regen too, but I think it only lasts 30 seconds or 45 seconds. Uh, so it's good. It's very good for regening, but it's um, it can be a bit of a pain sometimes when you want that length of regen if it's a long boss fight or something like that. So essentially you can either throw it against the wall when you're standing close to it or you can throw it on the ground. They say it's best to throw it against the wall because then it's at your head height rather than at the ground where it's only your feet and the the effects can be a little bit less. Now I'm going to go over to a good wall to throw it at, like this one here. So pretty much you don't have to stand like on the wall, but it's probably best to stand pretty close within a block or so. And you throw it, and you get exploded, and there you go. So I got two and a half minutes of speed. And I, actually, that was the problem because I was I wasn't right next to it. I didn't get it. Uh, I didn't get the full value. I only got two and a half minutes instead of the six. Uh, so what I probably should have done is I probably should have stood right here and done it. I'll probably I'll check that in the wiki. But, but yeah, my speed now is so this is this is sprinting. This is just normal walking. Brilliant. <laughs> and then sprinting again. So yeah, it really does really does speed you up. Um, and this is what I'm looking to get with the beacon. Is I'm going to have a beacon in my base so pretty much everywhere I walk around my base will be at speed and and hopefully you'll reach down to the ground to where I'm mining but I don't think it will unfortunately um, because it's gonna I'm gonna put it up on the roof so yes I'm just gonna check that I've got everything alright so the only other thing I was gonna go through today was um, the rest of my castle so I'll get some food out I might eat uh, eat some food and now I put in a door here because I had some problems with some zombies before and I had a problem I've actually, the wall there, that wasn't as high as it was before, so I've now fixed that so that it is higher and it is safer. And I've put all, um, I've put all stone slabs out here now, so it looks like a, a true, a true castle. So it's sort of keeping in the, in the same aesthetics as that, um, as that area down there. Now, this here was just a, it was just a hill, and what I've done is I put in a whole new sort of, uh, area. So this is sort of my, my fortified roof where I can lay siege to everyone. I haven't finished it up here as you can see. I still got to put some more iron bars in to finish off the look but I'm pretty happy with it so far. Uh, what I'm planning to do sorry about that guys. Uh, what I'm planning to do in here is I'm going to put a, um, a fire or something where you know like a, a battlement sort of area where they have like a boiling cauldron of lava or something like that where you can pour over the walls or um or just or just a spot where like a rest tent or something like that or have a weapon a weapons area here and then down here is is sort of the final bit down here and what i'm planning to do is i'm planning to do this pretty much all the way around the whole base um and then maybe in the middle of the base where the king's chambers will be there'll be like a nice garden um in the middle of it but yes, so the reason I've finished this in here is because I don't know how safe everything is. So where I don't know where it, where I don't know where it's safe, I've just sol solidly filled it in, um, so nothing can get in, or at least made a wall too high, so nothing can get at it. 
So yeah, that's how I'm planning on doing it. And as you, there's nothing, there's nothing new with this building. I put a few more torches around, but apart from that, that's about it with my new base, uh, with the base. And I always put a um, a pressure plate on the other side of a door, so when you run through it, it makes it a lot easier to come back, uh, come through. So now what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to remove this area here. I'm going to put something else in it. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in there yet, uh, but I will do it uh, soon. Uh, so that's to the mine. I'll do that another day. And that's what I've been playing around with the uh, with the elevator, the escalator, escalator, the piston elevator for because it is a long way down and it's not. There's no problem getting down. It's the problem coming up and climbing ladders on about 80 blocks is a bit of a pain in the butt. So I will fix that in a later episode when I figure out how I want to do it. I was thinking about, about maybe having a minecart that just spins around, spins around, spins around, and then they just have a water 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 drop at the top um but i'm not sure how that's going to work for me at the moment so i'll see how it goes i'll see how it goes and as you can see um yeah it's my lovely lovely abode all right guys now i'm going to call that an episode today i've shown you around my piston door the rest of my base and gone through a few basics with brewing and potions now I'm very happy about these with the skulls, that's why I am back. Well, the skeleton skulls, sorry. Uh, and back looking at this, but I'm going to call an episode here. So if I've helped you today, um, please like my video. Um, if you want to leave a comment saying things that I could do better, uh, especially in relation to that piston door, if you know a better way to do it, let me know. Um, or you just want to say good video or whatever, <laughs> go ahead, you're, you're more than welcome to. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, please subscribe. That helps my channel along, and uh, I'd be happy to make some more videos. Alrighty, guys, see you now.